Okay, do you make your way into the visitor dressing room? It's really quite good when we can show you both dressing rooms so you can see that they're exactly the same. We don't give any more facilities to the England players than we do our visitors. But of course, what you may have already started to notice that the big difference about this dressing room is the honours boards. This reflects performances by visitor players against England in full test matches here at Lords. So some of the great names in test history are up there. You've got Don Bradman, 1930, Gary Sobers. Um, but the interesting thing about these boards, as much as anything, is the names that aren't up there that you would probably expect to be up there. So, for example, the three greatest batsmen in Test history, we've got Tendulkar, we've got Ricky Ponting and we've got Jack Callis. None of those three players have ever scored a century here at Lords. But as we are mentioning Tendulkar and India uh, more widely, um, a famous thing happened here in 2002, which you might be uh, interested in hearing about, and it was when India were in the final against England for the Nat West series. England were expected to win that final. Um, they massed over 300 runs, which is going to be really difficult for India to win. Um, but they managed to do it. They'd lost eight wickets, but they managed to win that final, much to the delight of the spectators and the Indian team. A man in that team, Sarav Ganguly, tended to always sit there when he played at Lords. He went with the rest of the Indian team onto the balcony. How did he celebrate? Well, in quite an unusual way, because he decided to whip off his shirt, waved his shirt above his head, much to the delight of the spectators out there. But the members here weren't quite as enthusiastic about that gesture, but really, who cares? Because India had won the NatWest series, the crowd were going wild, Ganguly was waving his shirt, all was well with India. <laughs>